Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Coromon demo. I do appreciate you guys turning in once again. We are in Hayville and we need to find Perrin, which is why we came here in the first place. And I believe that is him, if I remember correctly, over on the, the right there. He is trapped by a Bee drill, be buzzle, Beezel. I think Beezel was his name. We need to save him. So first of all, let's run over here and open this chest. Hey, it might be something useful. A Phoenix shard that revives Pokemon, if I remember correctly. So let's go ahead and save Perrin from the Beezel. And if I remember correctly, he is a little bit of a high level. I'm not sure what we could do here. He is a level eight. This is going to be a tough battle. I got to say, let's see what we can do. See, Venomous Bees is one of the things I was right. Oh, very effective. So we're going to see if we can switch that out. Hopefully we're, we, well, it was very effective, but it only did six damage here. We're going to try one more. Hopefully he doesn't do a critical. Oh, yeah, very effective. I think that did a little bit more that time. I can spread this damage. There's the poison that we've talked about. One of those status effects over time that does damage. Let's pull out. You know, I can go ahead and pull out my Armado, but I think I'm going to go ahead and pull out my Swarmy. I think the Swarmy, if you look at the collars, I think the Swarmy ends up evolving into a Beezle. They have the uh, very much the same colorization, ouch, that of each other. So that's what I think they are going to do there. Wow, I'm going through these guys kind of quickly. Hopefully we'll get a hit in here and the Silk Will will help because of the uh, fast strike here. Let's hopefully it's not very, it's still very effective. Wow, and that did a lot of damage here. Let's see if we can get a fast hit in here and hopefully do a little bit of damage here. He did, ugh, woo. Okay, well, let's see if we can go, if we could just get a hit in on each person, I think we can whittle him down, but it's gonna be a hard battle here. I did not realize that he was a level eight here. He used slam, almost knocked him out completely. Shoot. I don't know. Let's go for it. If I get him knocked out, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Oh, he got it. He got that hit in there. Unfortunately, I did not get to go first in that round. Well, this is not starting off very good. Let's see if we can get a cinder here going off. He used slam. I used cinder. There we go. How much do we got? He's down to two. Let's try again. Wow, this was, oh, he did rage. That saved me right there. I gotta say, woo, that was a tough battle and we got a knockout, but these are the things you've got. I mean, I knew I was playing on normal, so I let that knockout go. I knew what I was going to end up getting, so I wasn't too worried about it, but you've got to be careful if you're playing on hard or insane you'll just lose them and you've really got to watch it i'm trying to be a little bit more careful to kind of show you where and when that you want to switch those characters out so if you're playing on hard or insane that you can make those choices there for you whoa thank for that i was a goner i was just working on this fence here and then suddenly that Beazle snuck up on me Anyways, thanks for helping me out. I'm glad I could help. Since you were working on that fence, are you it, by any chance the blacksmith parent? The one and only, there's no better blacksmith around, but who's asking? My name is Stingray. I was sent by Rigel to find you. Ah, to have an essence collector installed, I presume. All right, let's get right to it then. Come, let's go to my workshop. Actually says me workshop, but eh. Ah, here we are. Welcome to me workshop, Stingray. Wow, from the looks of this workshop, you must be quite busy. Ah, I sure am. I've been making spinners almost day and night for the last few weeks. 
I'm one of the few people working for Lux Solas that are skilled enough to make spinners. So I, I've been working hard. I am, but I can help you with your gauntlet. I'm quite familiar with Lux Solas technology, so it shouldn't take long to install a module. Thanks, here's my gauntlet and here's the module. Go give up our stuff. Thank you, and here, meanwhile, you can use this spear gauntlet. Thanks. Right, I better get to it then. Oi, while I work on your gauntlet, why don't you visit the library? You can pick up some handy workbooks there, which will surely help you on your adventure. You can't ask me, little brother. He's a real bookworm, that fella, so he'll know where to find them books. Come back once you've read them all. I'm sure I'll be done by then. That sounds helpful. I'll go check the library. Ah, and I better get started then. So the idea in the library is basically it just gives you the books like that give you information about the game. There'll be stuff like the types and the whether something is potent or effective versus one thing versus another. So that's kind of what the useful, they kind of sneak that into the storyline so you get that information and not be totally lost here. I think that's parents by the Marin. Um, hello there? Oh, um, did you want something? Yes, Perrin told me I could find books for beginning trainers here. Do you know where I can find them? Ah, my brother Perrin, huh? Hmm, he doesn't understand the power of knowledge. He mocks me for reading all of these books, says I should contribute to the down. Instead, he's working on his anvil all day. Now, what does that do? In reality, the pen is mightier, mightier than the sword, right? Um, I guess so? Ah, a fellow book lover. It seems I must judge you. Here, let me help you get some books. For a beginning trainer, you said? I know just the ones. Hmm, yes, this one. Corman Basics? No, oh, this is too basic. But it could be handy for someone else, perhaps. Ah! One more over here. And the last one. If you read all of these, you'll know everything a beginning trainer should know. Perhaps you'll even able to pass Je Jebediah's quiz. He likes to think he's the smartest, so he challenges others to a battle of wits. Hmm, he often hangs around the reading room. Well, here you go. So you can do the Jebediah quiz, and I think he gives you a couple things for winning, but I don't recall what they are. That's a lot of reading material. Study well, and you'll become a trainer that's not to be trifled with. I'll keep an eye out for other books that might be useful for you, um, and then I'll send you a message to let you know. Um, okay, bye now. Just like says bye to me right away. So if you go down, oh, I need to heal. I forgot all about that. So if we go down to items here, I believe there is a section of books. So we get the difficulty handbook talks about the difficulties. We already got that. But Cormon, I don't know what a travel joiner does. I think this is a new thing. So it talks about the types of Cormon, types of skills. Okay, effectiveness that sort of thing that's going to help you out. Then the trainer handbook, stats handbook, and potential handbook are just different things that you can read and kind of get an idea of helpful information. And then also that helps you out if you take Jebediah's quiz in which you can eventually, I think if you beat his quiz, he will give reward you with something, but I don't recall off the top of my head what it is that he does give you let's check up here and see if there's any other treasure chest i think he gives you that hat actually if i remember correctly i'm just checking to see if there's any more i thought there was another 
Did I get that or do I have to go all the way around? Can I fit back there? Oh, I can. Sweet. A trick spinner. That's kind of cool. I don't know what's special about the trick spinner. So the thing that we need to do for Perrin and no, Noah, sorry. We have to do for Noah is get, we have to actually go all the way back to Luxola's campus. So we have to walk back there. And once we get healed up, we'll head on that way. But I do need to, there has been a Bezel infestation as well. And those are high level. I think they're level eight like the other ones. So I'm not gonna fight them right now. We're gonna run back to Luxolus campus in order to get the part that we need that Perrin wanted, not Perrin, I keep on saying the wrong name, that Noah wanted to fix his teleporter. That's what we're gonna be heading out next here in just a minute. See, she's giving me that m message where they got rid of the Bezels escaped, and if we can get rid of all six, she'll reward us. Forgot about that. We need to. I came in here and started hitting buttons because I wanted to do just heal them, but I forgot about that. I forgot Beth is the one to give you that quest because she's has this little like trainer or Coromon daycare i guess sort of thing going on here i'm not gonna worry about the bezels like i said they were are a little bit higher than what i want to worry about right now I, again i believe they're level eight so we're gonna head back to the luxolus campus in order to do this quest for noah and get the transporter set up because the transporter is a very useful thing it allows you to quickly jump between the cities something that you will want to do once you have set up most of the time Sometimes you might want to come back through here just to grind a little bit for the most part I think that you'll want to Do once you get this set up. You'll want to use the teleporter There you go. Yeah, a lot of these now are gonna be a little bit. This is where I want to be for this area you want to be if the max is level five you want to be level seven or higher to really be able to go through effectively here we go we have three of our six now up to level eight but i want to try the swarmy and see if we can get him leveled up because i would like to see him become a bezo if he does when he does i'm pretty sure that is what he turns into or evolves into when he gets the chance but i don't recall when they level up it's if it's a certain level they level up i forget how that exactly works out but we'll see i really enjoy this game if you can't there's a lot going on in this game and i really enjoy the story that they've put together i really enjoy the core mon that they've put together it's just well overall well done it really shows what can be added on top of the retro feel that i like to show off with you know the modern stuff here that i really like let's see if we can get back here i don't think it'll be too hard once we get past this little patch here we'll be on our way here i would like to know if if you're watching this if you got this far let me know down in the comments what your favorite Cormon in the demo is I would have to say there is a snake one I can't recall the name of the snake but there is a snake Cormon in the demo that I really like so I would say that or the Taruga is pretty nice as well so it's probably one of those two of the Cormon that you can catch so out of the Cormon you can catch which are the ones that you like of the ones that I can't catch, there is the, I can't, again, I can't remember the name of it. Oogie, Oogie Goog or a Goog Goog or something like that. It's a really weird name. Ogog or something. <laughs> you find it in the power tower and it's one of the trainers has it and it uses like mental abilities, like psychic abilities, and it has three heads. 
I really like that one. That looks really cool. And I would like to, when the full game gets released, I would like to see that one and be able to train with that one. I think that would be a lot of fun. So we want to do this and we've got to find, I forget the person that we are looking for. And we probably could find that out in our log project where broke tell okay i gotta look for tim at the lux solace campus okay so that's who i'm looking for tim let's see if we can find tim are you tim no you're jan that's not helpful you're not helpful jan jan why don't you tell me where tim is come on help me out there is you tim hello are you tim that's right and who might you be i'm stingray no me no Noah sent me here. I wish I could read. I really wish I could read sometimes. He said he ordered a package from you, but it hasn't arrived yet. Ah, that's right. I had almost forgotten about it. But just a while ago, I remembered to send it. It didn't ha it didn't have to go far. It should have arrived by now. If it hasn't been delivered yet, then the package must be somewhere between here and Avil. Perhaps you can have a look around Radiant Park. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for your help. Okay, so I'm basically going to be the delivery person here. Let's see if we can go find who we need to find. I think, if I remember correctly, he is somewhere around. He has to be past the first one. Actually, the first grass pot because he's stuck. We've all applied. Well, if you caught any of the first, I'm going to try not to reveal much of it if this is your first playthrough the first watching of it or something to that effect but i would assume also that a lot of people watching this have seen the playthrough of the demo it's been out for a while like i said i have played this game almost a year ago is when i did my original playthrough so i'm expecting a lot of you that are watching this know what is about to happen oh yes we got venomous bees yeah that's my favorite thing right there okay but we want to look at him because we want to make sure that his attacks yeah so you only allowed four skills in a battle so you have to choose which skills to activate and not activate so I'm going to go ahead, since I'm here, is go ahead and disable Rage because I'm not going to use it. So now I have two, but we also have these down here. This will be unlocked at 1113. Okay, so that is what we're doing. And we just, and probably I won't do this all on screen, but we, I like to go down through here and I'll take off cute pose. Because, I mean, there's some things that are nice about there. Lowers the defense of the opposing team. Again, it's these are good. The debuffs and the buffs are good. They work well, especially in long battles with trainers with three, four, five Kormon. They really work well. But I'm much more of a just hit an attacker. That's just the way I play these games way i play a lot of games to be honest this way i play even like fighting games I, I just run and attack and not do a lot of defense or dodging that's just the way i do so i usually don't do those kind of attacks okay let's see let's see if we can take out this armado here fast strike i like it fast strike is very nice it allows forces you to be able to go first and that is very helpful because like i said before is you could push that a little bit you know if he's low on health and you're not sure if you go first or he goes first if you go first you're gonna knock him out if i mean i've had situations where if i go first i'll knock out the opponent if he goes first He'll knock me out. So that fast strike really helps you out there. Okay. 
let's switch out our seal quill down to our mino and we're going up pretty well here let's talk to the oh so close ah so close but that's all right no a big deal we're here to grind anyways so i'm happy i'll use my tail spin and beat this silk quill oh he hit one time wouldn't you know it but yeah i'm always impressed and even i haven't played a lot of other monster training games but i've got to give hands hands off hands i don't know the correct term it kind of just slipped out of my mind i gotta give a lot of credit to the developers of games like monster training games because it's not only your dev you have to de develop the story and the levels and everything like that but you also have to develop these whole set of creatures and types and toughness and, and weakness and it just it's a lot to do and i've always been impressed with these oh sorry i startled you i thought you were wild cormon jumped at me a uh, cormon they only jump at you when you walk through grass and don't you have your own cormon to battle them yeah yes i do but i forgot to bring any healing cakes with them and now my entire squad fainted i can't go through the grass anymore i am trapped here now i'll never be able to deliver this package do you mean the package meant for noah yes but i'll never get there while my cormon are fainted oh i'm so stupid hmm i can escort you through the grass so you can go to the trainer hub in hayville really would you do that for me thank you so much okay lead the way well i think that was different oh maybe not i'm thinking that was a little different too than what it was i was expecting something different there and i'm not sure why but i feel in the demo that when i played it previously that exchange happened differently but i might just be mistaking there it's hit all three times well ah we only hit twice shucks chucky darn but my Mino should be able to get up to level 8 here soon. Hopefully. My Swarmy has fainted. Oh, we're getting close. That's good. Let's see if we can run through here. We'll probably have to have to switch out the Mino if we get into another battle. Because he's looking pretty bad here. Mino on Mino battle. Yeah. He is, yeah, and he's a level five, so that's going to be a little bit harder. We're going to jump up to everybody's hurt a little bit, except my second line here, but that's all right. We'll take it out. I don't think we're going to have too much of a problem here. I really like the powder bit. That's another one of the core mod I really like. I like that it's a robot in the world of these living animals so i think that's really cool i just it i don't know amuses me or i think it's cool or something i just kind of like the pattern bit quite a lot that would probably be another one of my favorite cormon that is in the demo now i'm sure that as the full game gets released there's going to be a lot of more cormon to choose my favorite from and I, I would like to hear your favorite let me know in the description below i would love to see that let's description you can't put it in the description in put it in the comments below that's a much better place to put it we made it thank you so much you're welcome but what about the package ah uh, yes well i i'm uh quite behind my schedule now perhaps you could deliver the package to noah for me that way i can catch up on my other deliveries i could do that great here's the package great awesome thank you huh what's this in my pocket a lux recall i had this with me all this time oh would you just look at the time time to go ah uh, postman thanks again <laughs> I love that exchange that whole thing there's a lot of humor in this game as well and i enjoy that with the drone exchange there and then the mailman 
That is what I was expecting earlier, so they didn't change it. He does have that, and he gave it to the package to me, and he takes off with a Lux Recall. That's what I was expecting to happen earlier, so that was not changed. Let's go up here, and actually, we're going to get healed real quick before we head off to Noah and get that sorted out. And then I think that's going to be the episode today. We have done quite a lot. Run back to Lux Solus Campus and back. We've leveled up our Cormon pretty well. And in the next episode, we're going to be taking probably, I don't know, we're six level eights. We probably could take care of the... No, we need to go to Nora. We could take care of the Beezles around town. It's going to be a little bit of a hassle because we're going to have to switch out and we're going to have to go back, keep on healing after each battle as well. But I think we could do it. Let's jump down here and talk to Noah. Stingray, there you are. Do you have any news? I do. Tim sent the package, but the liver man got delayed in Radiant Park. Oh, what happened? He forgot healing cake, so his entire squad fainted. Ha ha ha, beginner's error. But what happened to the package? I took over for him. I got the package right here. There we go. Thank you, this is great. With these parts, I'll get the machine up and running in no time. I'll get right to it. I took long enough already. So he just jumps in here, gets the machine up and running, and then... I think we are allowed to use it. That's it. All the parts are finally installed. Now for some final calibrations and done. It should be fully operational now. So that's it. We can take it. Have you ever used a teleport? No. Oh, well, we did. Yeah. If you approach a teleport, it will automatically synchronize with your gauntlet, enable you to travel to another teleporter your gauntlet is synchronized with. So you have to go into a you can't go to somewhere where you haven't been basically that's the idea yeah so we locate unlock that location we're gonna actually go back i forgot all about this we're gonna run back and grab the gauntlet from perrin and then we're gonna show off the teleporter here in just a second perrin also gives us i think the push module as well Ah, Stingray, there you are. I finished your gauntlet. The Essence Collector is installed and ready to go. I'll take back that spare gauntlet first. Here we got the spare. I installed another module as well for you. The push module. Consider it a gift from a friend. Here you go. Your upgraded gauntlet. So we can switch that out. I'm not sure how we switch. Thank you so much. But what's the push module you mentioned? Ah, you can upgrade your gauntlet with a number of modules. The one I installed now gives you the strength of a blacksmith. You'll be able to push anything out of your way like logs and loose rocks. Just press the secondary button to activate your currently selected model. You can also hold down the button to select a different module. Now, why don't you try out that push module in my backyard. There's some lawns which you can push around. Thanks, I'll go and try the push module. Right, see ya. We got that done. We're gonna just jump up here real quick. What we do is hold the button down. Oh, we already switched it, but if you hold the button down, it allows you to switch. We want to just use the push now. I don't want to bind and oh, I could add an item to that as well. That's kind of cool. So we do that. I figure I could bind an item to the secondary so that I could probably use. I'm trying to think of how I would do that. Use an item from my, like if I had a stink, one of the stink things. Let me see if I got two more plane spinners. Like I could put, let me see my items. I could probably put one of these, not, not spinners, but where are they? Oh shoot, where are they? Oh, the stinky scent or Lux recall to that secondary button if I wanted to so that I can use that a little bit easier. That's really cool. I like that, the ability to bind that 
item to the secondary button. Okay, we're gonna check out the, the teleporter real quick and teleport back to Lux Solus Campus. We really don't need to, but I do would like to show that off just in case this is your first. And I'm not sure I can because I don't think I've been in that one. Will it let me go? Yeah, so it's not gonna let me go forward into the other areas and other teleporters, but it'll let me jump backwards to the ones I've already been. So let's jump back there. We jump back to the campus, look at split. And this is also a, if you wanna switch out your Cormon or pick up a Cormon or do anything with the, the little computer over here, this is a real easy way to jump back into back and forth between the cities. That's going to be the episode for today. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.